hi guys how are you doing i hope you're doing great okay it's second of july 2024 tuesday i hope your day is going on well my darling okay remember my promise to you my prayer not actually my promise my prayer for you is that this july will be filled of blessings unending favor laughter for you and i in the name of jesus amen okay it's time for our work for today okay courtesy of ucb island and our topic today says start at his feet and our bible reading is taken from the book of root 3 verse 4 and i read from my bible verse 4 and it says and it shall be when he lieth down that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie and thou shalt go in and uncover his feet and lay thee down and he will tell thee what thou shalt do praise the lord hallelujah all right just to just to summarize that uncover his feet and lie down and he will tell you what you should do praise the lord hallelujah all right let's continue my darling as a mobite the law said Ruth was unqualified to mix with Jews. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. Deuteronomy 23 verse 3. But when God has a plan for your life, he steps in and say, I have called you by your name. You are mine. You are precious in my sight. I will give men for you and people for your life. Isaiah 43 verse 1 and also verse 4. When Boaz began showering Ruth with kindness, she knelt before him saying, Why have I found favor in your eyes? Ruth 2, 10. Notice how Boaz answered, It's been fully reported to me all that you have done. Wow. Aware that Ruth has become the object of Boaz's affection, Naomi instructs her, he is winnowing barely tonight at the threshing floor. Therefore, wash yourself and anoint yourself. Put on your best garment and go down on the threshing floor. But do not make yourself known to the man until he has finished eating and drinking. Then it shall be when he lies down that you shall notice the place where he lies and you shall go in uncover his feet and lie down and he will tell you what you should do root three two to four she started at his feet and ended up by his side do not make yourself known don't push don't try to impress god with your performance just stay at his feet and he will raise you up to his side humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time. First Peter 5 verse 6. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Start at his feet, step by step. You don't rush God. You don't try to impress God. Remember, he created you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is very important and a very, you know, lovely story for us to learn from here. So we need to humble ourselves, okay, unto God so that God will be able to exalt us. So we start at his feet. Go slowly. Don't pressure God because he knows. Just like we don't wrestle the flesh, you know, we don't wrestle according to the rules of the flesh. You will lose your focus on God because if you do that, remember the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. So it's not something that is physical, okay? So the only hope you have in defeating Satan lies in your prayers, in your Christian fellowship with your brethren, and also God's word. So you have to start at his feet and let him fulfill whatever he has started for you and I. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. So that is it for today for us, my darling. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is what for today, courtesy of UCB Ireland, my darling. Okay. And we're reading the Bible for the whole year. Kindly refer back to my previous videos. Just down the description there, you're going to see the chapters we've read. Okay. But for today, we are reading 2 Chronicles chapter 23, chapter 24, and Acts of the Apostles, chapter 26. Yes, you had me right, my darling. Thank you again for listening. You know, 
I, Anita Brown, I love you. But God loves you most. God, please help us to actually have the patience to start from your feet, not to rush you, okay, to take things one step at a time so that we don't miss our blessings. Amen. I love you. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share to bless the soul. Bye-bye.